Hi students, welcome to the session on types of antenna. Here we see different types of antenna, right? And uh, when they, those antennas can be used and the basic principle of those antenna. The first type is uh, wire antenna. Wire antenna. The example for wire antenna is a dipole antenna. Such as of a dipole, of a dipole, let's see and dipole, folder dipole. Uh, these are all coming under the category of what you call wire antenna. Also, loop antenna and uh, helix antenna they are coming under the all these three antennas are coming three types of antennas are coming under the category of uh, what you call dipole antenna here what we do is uh, the radiation characteristics are uh, determined from the current distribution from current distribution what we get is vector magnetic potential from vector magnetic potential, we find B value, magnetic flux density, B is equal to del cross A. From B, we will find H value, uh, H is equal to B by mu. Right? From H, uh, what we get is, from H, uh, let me go like this, from H we get E, right? So, del cross H is equal to J omega epsilon e from e we find uh, the average right so what is it is 1 by 2 e cross h right from this we find power radiated power radiated is e average dot ds right so this is the way uh, the radiation characteristics of all this uh, wire antenna are determined right so this is the logic uh, this is the concept we use to find the radiation mechanism of all those antennas i have explained here that is wire antenna, right and uh, next uh, types of antenna we are going to say is uh, what you call aperture antenna right so what is aperture antenna is an antenna with aperture at one end is known as aperture antenna. Antenna with an aperture at the end is known as aperture antenna. Right? So they may take the form of, they may be in the form of waveguide or a horn. Right? So on which has aperture whose aperture may be rectangular square rectangular aperture square aperture right elliptical parabolic or any other configuration right so these are all coming under the category, right? Okay, so the aperture uh, antenna is antenna with aperture at one end. And uh, what is that is? Wave guide or horn may be considered as aperture. The main types are, what are the types of aperture antenna is? One is horn antenna, very important one. And uh, plot antenna. Third one is uh, wave guide antenna. Fine. Okay. So the main uh, application of uh, aperture antenna is they are used uh, mainly for space, space, uh, spacecraft or uh, aircraft. They are used in uh, spacecraft or aircraft. Why? Right? Because these antennas are uh, flush mounted. That is very very important. What do you mean by flush mounted is 
the antenna can be flush boundary means the antenna can be constructed into the surface of the uh, mechanical structure it is antenna can be constructed into the surface of the mechanical structure surface of the mechanical structure without uh, affecting the shape of the sur surface without affecting the shape without affecting the shape of the surface that is the biggest advantage of uh, this uh, apache and so they are mainly used for uh, aircraft or spacecraft applications right so that is a very very important point if you note uh, right and uh, next is uh, so, so microwave antenna microwave antenna right microwave is a wave which has a frequency range of 3 to 30 gigahertz right so we know that uh, lower the frequency this means larger the size of the antenna larger the size of the antenna so microwave is very large frequency so they are used to microwave antennas are miniature in size because the frequency is very very high 3 to 30 gigahertz right so what are the antennas coming under the category of microwave antennas horn antenna slot antenna or reflector antenna right and uh, micro strip micro strip antenna right so these are all the antennas coming under the category of what you call microwave antenna right so next uh, i think uh, that's all about this session we will deal every antenna in individual video right i hope you understand the concept this is just an introduction if you have any doubt please ask me in comment section thank you